This is a newer paint by Benjamin Moore, Command. I haven't used it before, but I've heard some good things about it. A very fast dry time and a very hard finish. It's a waterborne acrylic urethane. So let's go ahead and put a little paint in the cup and test it out. This color is Dove White and it has a satin finish. I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. I'm probably going to add just a, a few drops of water just to thin it out a little bit. Just from the looks of it, I am going to add a few drops of water. That looks pretty good. I'll mix that in. This is a Fuji gun, and the tip on the gun is a 1.8. This is the back of the frame. I sprayed it about an hour ago, and as you can see, it's dry to touch, and I could even sand this if I wanted to. Now I'm going to flip the frame over and spray the front. I sprayed that first coat of Command about three and a half hours ago. The paint is nice and dry. I've just started to sand the frame and it's powdering up nice. That's what you want. You want the, the paint to powder. You don't want it to gum up your sandpaper. After I sprayed the third coat of paint, I let it dry, and I had a little bit of an orange peel surface. So it wasn't too bad, but I couldn't leave it like that. So I decided to sand the frame one more time. And I thinned the paint out a little bit more, just added a few more drops of water and sprayed another coat on the frame. And when I'm spraying, I'm spraying basically one this way and then one back and then spinning the frame and basically repeating that motion. And what that does is it puts double the paint on the corners. And so now I've got a really nice, smooth, flat surface right here, but in the corners where the paint is thicker, I have some kind of small little pinhole bubbles. So I can't leave that. So I'm going to sand the frame one more time with 320. And when I paint the frame, I'll just try to do one continuous uh, run, basically. I'll just spin the frame kind of like this, like this. I'll let it dry and hopefully I'll then have a really nice surface. What I do like about this is this surface is dry. So it's only been a couple of hours since I sprayed this and I'm able to sand it. It'll powder up. I'll vacuum it off and I can spray it again. Okay, well it's been about two hours and the paint is completely dried and in another 22 hours it will be completely cured and that's a major plus because if this were a piece of furniture I could deliver it tomorrow. I am going to deliver this frame tomorrow and since the finish is cured and hard I don't have to worry about getting fingerprints on it. I, I'm a big fan of Benjamin Moore Advance but that paint takes longer to dry and takes a very long time to cure. And the fact that I can spray this today and deliver it tomorrow is a major plus. I'm happy with the finish. It's a really nice, smooth finish. No orange peeling. 
I did thin the paint with water by about 5%. And it's basically a learning curve. If you're going to spray this finish, definitely spray a few samples, spray some cardboard, and dial in your process. As far as cleaning the spray gun, I always use two guns, one that's designated for paint. The paint gun has a 1.8 tip. The clear finish gun has a 1.3 tip. The reason why I have two guns is if you, no matter how well you clean your paint gun, if you spray lacquer through it, chances are the lacquer is going to soften up some paint and you'll get some paint in your clear finish. So I think it's worth the investment to have two guns. To clean the gun, I pour the paint out into a separate bucket because the paint in here has been thinned. And then I'll wipe out the cup, wipe out the tube, spray water through the gun, spray a little air through the gun, and then spray some lacquer thinner through the gun and a little air through the gun. And that's it, the gun is clean and ready for next time. So that's my process. I'm really happy with this paint. I will be continuing to use it on projects in the future and I'll keep you posted. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.